In this lecture, we will learn how to install Bulma CSS to our current project. In order to install Bulma in our project, you can also use your command line or terminal. However, let me show you how to install Bulma with VS Code. In VS Code, you can go to terminal and new terminal. You can use you can use this command line npm install bulma and after a couple of seconds you will notice that there will be a package named bulma in your project folders node modules folder will include this bulma package and then you will be ready to import it with this line of code import bulma slash css slash bulma.css and then we can try if we successfully install it with some examples let me open bulma.io and let's copy this pretty buttons from bulma vs code instead of returning this hello world content in our app.js file let's return these buttons however please start with replacing this class with class names and this is control h as a shortcut you can use it since it's a reserved name in react that's what you need to do otherwise you will get some error messages in your application As soon as I save this file, my application will look like this. As you can see, we have these beautiful buttons included in our page. You can also modify some of its classes with given class definitions like is small, for example, to make it smaller. Is normal is actually default. If you don't specify any size, all your buttons will be is normal. Let's try is medium. And you need dash, of course. And let's try is large. Let me show you the page. As you can see, this is is small, is medium, is excuse me, is small, is normal, is medium, and is large. And let me show you, you should notice that these class names, is info, is success, is warning, and is danger, is there to give its colors. For example, is danger class name gives it red, color likewise is success makes it beautiful green like this in the next lecture we will be showing some more examples of Bulma however it's beyond scope of our class so we will just touch Bulma and we will just use some basic features of it in our project Instead of coding lots of CSS in our project, we chose including Bulma CSS framework in our project. And this is a great framework, by the way. You should check it out and it has a great documentation. You can see some elements like image progress bars, content, boxes and we will be using container section and footer in our sudoku application let's move on to our next lecture and we will see some more examples of bulma content thanks for watching see you in the next lecture